Uh, hey Southside, I hope you're doing well. Um, we're enjoying a very hot Christmas here in Durban, um, which might sound lovely, but actually um, sometimes we just want there to be a cold Christmas. Um, but we hope you've had a fantastic time uh, so far, um, albeit in perhaps slightly uh, difficult circumstances. Um, I believe in the UK you're allowed to visit uh, friends and relatives for, for one day over Christmas. Um, we're doing really well as a family. Um, uh, we've been invited by Nick uh, just to share a few thoughts about what Christmas means to us. And so really we've, we've, we've uh, just scratched our heads for a little bit and uh, we just thought we'd offer a few things we hope that they're helpful or, or that you find it at least entertaining. Um, so uh, over to Kirsten. Um, hello everyone. So um, as Ben said, it's um, often in, in this time of year in Durban, it's always sunny and humid <laughs> and um, often in the past I've always thought well as you do because we've not grown up in this kind of weather obviously from here but um, the the weather it just doesn't feel like Christmas so we always um, when it comes to this time of year I'll say oh just it doesn't feel like Christmas because it's not snowing it's not cold and like you can't go inside and there's something about the kind of weather when you go inside at Christmas and it feels all cozy and um, but yeah, this year I found myself saying one day, oh, um, it's really, really hot, it must be Christmas, which was a really strange thought or thing to come out of my, out of my mouth, because obviously that's something that is, until now, was very abnormal to have this warm Christmas. But as I kind of thought about that, it was, it was interesting to me, because often we associate a lot of things with Christmas, as in the cold weather, um, and like uh, the, the lights and the decorations and then obviously in South Africa where it's sunny um, and it's summer they often associate Christmas with um, barbecues and being outside and going to the beach and um, sometimes I think what I realised with that thought was that sometimes the real meaning and what Christmas is really all about gets, gets lost or gets kind of hidden behind all the packaging of what Christmas is and all the things that we like to do at Christmas time. Um, and what it kind of brought me back to is like, what does the really Christmas mean for me? And yes, it's family. And yes, it's enjoying being together and doing all those things. But it's also about the fact that God came to earth as a, as a baby. And um, how that just, the miracle of that is just so amazing. And so, yeah, my encouragement is even in amongst whatever you're doing this Christmas is just to meditate on the miracle of what God has done for us. So I guess what Kirsten is saying also kind of resonates with me because basically I think growing up Christmas looked a certain way and we, we actually think tradition is quite important in terms of having rhythms and times and seasons for the family. And in particular, I think it's important for children because, you know, you don't necessarily remember a specific Christmas, but you do remember having Christmas. You do remember having holidays and, and it's the rhythms of life which establish a kind of uh, groundedness in, in families. And so that's really, really important. But I think having had all that disrupted moving to South Africa, I think especially before we had a family, it's like, you know, Christmas lost some of its specialness. But then if that's possible, uh, because Jesus hasn't changed, right? So then it makes you think that, well, maybe some of the meaning or the importance that I placed on Christmas was, was actually a more, more tradition without the meaning behind it. And, and I think that's the important thing. It's, it's to have the tradition, but it's to understand the why, right? So um, I, I think for me, that why is... Is actually, I mean, you, you could ask the question, what does Christmas mean for me? But you could just ask the, the question, what does Christmas mean? And it really just means this. It, it's, for me, it means that God came. He came. And uh, I think that's important because, you know, uh, it, it wasn't a, just a generic thing that happened. Uh, but God came for me. And uh, that is what's impacted my heart and really changed my life. And when you think about the birth narrative, you know, you, you think about the different people visiting the baby Jesus. There's like an invitation that God sent out. Um, but not everybody responded to that invitation. And there's a kind of a parallel, I suppose, isn't there really, when it comes to our tradition and our meaning. 
And with COVID in the mix, you can maybe feel like in some way you've been cheated. But sometimes that feeling of being cheated or, or that things this is wrong or things aren't the way they should be, it, it can help us to reflect um, actually on a deeper level. Um, to say, well, have we really uh, understood uh, who Jesus is and what he came for? And because if we have, then how can we possibly have lost anything in, in actual fact? Um, we, we've gained everything because we've gained a relationship with God himself. And uh, as Kirsten kind of mentioned, I think part of what really just blows my mind is that uh, God didn't come as a, as, as a general or as, or as a, he didn't come born in a palace. He came as a little baby born to uh, really average people, you know, like not wealthy individuals, not celebrities, um, in, a, in a very, very normal way. And uh, it's not so much um, that um, it takes away meaning from everything else. In actual fact, it's the opposite. In my view, uh, the richness of Christmas comes from the grounding in the stable, in the manger, the centerpiece of which is God himself enrobed in human flesh that's the meaning of christmas for us and that's what we celebrate maybe you can ask a question okay but what does that look like or, or what does that mean well it doesn't have to be fancy it just means telling the story and one of the things i love is telling the story around the table um, so you know that's just a conversation to be had at the christmas dinner table for our family uh, what do you remember is the question we ask the children from the christmas story um, other, other thoughts are, uh, you know, um, reading through the Christmas narrative in the Bible. We've got this fantastic Bible, the Lion Storyteller Bible. Um, we can read through that with the children um, over Christmas. And, uh, and finally, it's also um, in, in, in the same vein as being thankful for Jesus' coming. It's to ask uh, us as a family, you know, what are we grateful for this Christmas around the table? And that's something that we've tried to embed in our life as a family. Um, we always do like what's your good thing from the day when we sit together as a family in the evening and so those are some really simple practical ways that you can make the story real in your worship as a family and because worship obviously is not just singing it's not just what we do together when we meet as a church but it's also like what we think about what we discuss and um, what we are grateful for as we come together as a family in particular this time around the table so this is a poem that I wrote um, just about the um, kind of influenced by this year and then obviously some of the things we've been talking about and just um, Christmas time. So Christmas comes but once a year, though this year feels a little different than the before. The tinsel is up, the e-cards are sent, twinkling lights embellish the night. The presents are wrapped and under the tree courtesy of Amazon, since this year, Santa is shielding due to his advanced years. Christmas comes but once a year, though this year feels a little different than before. Without all the parties, the people, the noise, a quiet descent, giving me poise to reflect. Stripped bare, cracks revealed, priorities examined, questions appear. What has Christmas become? What does it all mean? Without all the usual Christmas trimmings, the answer emerges, always with us, though often forgotten. A helpless babe, born in a stable, laid in a manger, God who took on flesh, the greatest act of love ever made, the ultimate gift given so that we might be restored to a God who in his great love and mercy made the highest sacrifice so that we could always be with him. Well, this year, Christmas doesn't quite look like it ought. The person behind our festivities remains forever with us, unchangeable, unshakable, unmoved. And while I hope that next year things will return to normal, well, almost normal, I hope that I will appreciate the gift of togetherness over the ones under the tree. But more than this, I hope I will forever remember and meditate on the greatest Christmas gift of all, a love incomprehensible, unchanging, eternal, giving a hope to my soul that never ever wavers. So everybody, we, we really hope, especially the last thought of that poem, um, that you are filled with hope this Christmas season, not because of any of the circumstances that we may find ourselves in, whatever they may look like for you personally, but because of who Jesus is.
and the fact that he came, and the fact that he uh, lives with us. Hi everybody, so we've got Eddie, Jane and Ethan here. Caleb has just gone down for a nap. Eddie, Jane is about to go for a swim in the neighbor's pool, which is very nice. And Ethan has decided to dress as a nurse today. Um, but kids, we wanted to ask you a question. What do you think Christmas is all about? What do you think Christmas is all about, Ethan? Presents. Presents. And what kind of presents are you hoping to get this year? Okay, well, it's very quiet. Maybe you won't get anything. And Eddie Jane, what do you think Christmas is all about? Jesus. Jesus. Okay, but what 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 was it about Jesus that we celebrate at Christmas? Yes. When he was born. When he was born. Well done. Hey, do you know where Jesus was born? In Bethlehem. In Bethlehem. Do you know whereabouts in Bethlehem he was born? No. Oh, okay, he was born in a stable. Hey. All right. Thanks, guys. Do you want to say Happy Christmas to everybody? Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. Happy Christmas.